think it's a good option. And I would want to ask the same people who are sitting at the table having those discussions about having a military intervention in Niger. Let me remind you that there are other coups that we are not talking about that we should be talking about. By France forcing Niger to send all its natural resources to France, that's a coup. By France having its own military in, in Niger and forcing Nigerians that you can only be trained by France, that is a coup. By forcing Niger to deposit 50% of its uh, reserves with France, that is a coup. The question I have for those who are sitting on the table, during those ECOWAS meetings, during those AU uh, peace and security meetings, what have you done about those coups? Take those three coups, multiply by 14, because that's what's happening in the 14 former French colonies. Those are deadly coups that have been taking place for decades. And you ECOWAS have done nothing about those coups. I need, I need them to also answer and, and give us remedy as to how they are going to handle those coups. Make no mistake about it. Those are coups against the African citizens in those countries. And when, while they discuss what they would like to do with Niger, I would also want them to table those coups and come up with a solution as to what needs to be done. Because behind those coups that I just described from France, there are millions of children who are dying from starvation. There are millions of children who are going to bed with an empty stomach. There are millions of African youth who are unemployed. There are millions of women who are dying while giving birth to another life. I need them to put that on the table as well. If their interests are truly about the Africans, let's look at the global uh, view of the issue. Let's have a best eye view of the issue and have a frank and fair and honest discussion about what is really going on in Africa. I do know that I don't think the carnage that's going on in Africa is what ECOWAS is all about. Leadership is about the people. It's about creating a better life for the people. But if you're going to allow one who has committed egregious crimes in Africa continues to have coups. Those are coups. Let's, let's call a spade a spade. You can't give France a pass. So also let us know what you intend to do about those ongoing economic and political coups that are being imposed on those 14 French uh, uh, countries, former French colonies uh, by France. So to just talk about what's happening in Niger alone, in isolation and not go to the root causes of the genesis of why what's happening is happening, uh, that simply does not make any sense. And I would hope uh, military intervention in Niger is not an option. That simply is not something we should do as Africans. There are better ways of dealing with our issues. Uh, our elders must come together. Our elders must have a frank uh, conversation. And let's look at what is ultimately best for the people, not only the people in Niger, but in all former French colonies and ultim ultimately in all African countries. Because this moment is calling for unity, me meaningful unity of purpose among the African leaders to simply say, guys, this can no longer continue. It simply cannot continue. The people have spoken, and I hope our leadership will listen.